Hey Conway, I'm Dalton, here with your news. In school news, student council will be selling whiteout t-shirts during all lunches. Please buy these shirts because we are trying to beat Carolina Forest in the race to, win, to get the most money for the American Heart Association. The representatives from Jostens will be here for ring payments and orders on October 29th from 11 till 2 in the Commons during all lunches. The junior ring ceremony will be November 19th at 6.30. On October 27th, there will be a meet and greet from 9 to 12 with free ice cream at Cochrane, Huckabee Heights, and Bucksport Community Centers. This is to promote attendance for parent-teacher conferences on October 30th. The blood drive is going to be on October 31st from 9 to 2.30 in the mini gym. If you're interested in giving blood, you can sign up during your lunch. There will be Spirit Night at Sonic on Thursday, November 1st from 4 to 8. 20% of the sales will come back to Conway High School in support of the PBIS program. And tomorrow is pink out day so deck out in pink in support of breast cancer awareness in local news an Horry County stu teacher is behind bars arrested on two serious charges dealing with a minor Shane Allen Watson is listed as a as incarcerated at J Ruben Long Detention Center and no bail has been set the 26 year old was booked into the detention center at 5:30 yesterday the Surfside Beach man is charged with communicating obscene messages and contributing to the delinquency of a minor on Watson's LinkedIn social media page, he identifies himself as a social studies teacher at the Academy for the Arts, Science, and Technology. On the charge of obscene messages to another person, he was given a $10,000 surety bond. He was also given a $15,000 surety bond for the contributing to the delinquency of a minor charge. The judge has also issued a no-contact order between Watson and the victim and placed him on a GPS monitor to track him. At this time, Watson is not allowed to go on any school functions at all, regardless if it's on school property or not. In national news, an Ohio teenager who's been growing his hair for a charity is being punished by his high school because administrators say his long locks violate the dress code. 17-year-old Zachary Ofterhide is, is serving a two-day in school suspension at Canton South High School this week. He's been growing out his hair for locks of love, which uses donated hair to make hair pieces for kids who have lost their hair due to diseases. After Hyde told the school of his intentions, but on Monday was told he would be suspended. His hair is only an inch away from the 10 inches needed to donate to the charity. Let him grow out the 10 inches, and plus he told you in the first place, so I don't see what the big deal is. And in response to that, Canton local school board president John Martin said that while he respects the students' efforts, rules are rules. Okay, whatever. It's his hair. It's his hair. I mean, seriously. Well, Conway, that's all for your news. Over to Club and Guidance announcements, and then just with your sport. Club and Guidance announcements. Robotics team's next meeting for both new and returning members Wednesday, October 25th at 3.30 in Mr. Carlington's room. FFA will be... There will be a meeting Friday, October 26th, during lunches in the A building. Science National Honor Society's next meeting is Thursday, November 1st, in room A101. Everyone interested should attend. Math Honor Society, pick up an application from Ms. Sampson's room or Ms. Goldfinger's room. Students must have taken or be currently enrolled in a pre-calculus and must have a math and overall average of a 90 and currently enrolled in a math. Beta Club's next meeting is November 7th. Fees, $15 for new members and 5 for returning. Dues are to be turned in into Miss Abstin today, October 19th. Beta's Club next the 2012 induction ceremony will be held on Monday, November 5th at 6 o'clock. Unless excused for extenuating circumstances, all new members and club officers must have been in attendance. Returning members are highly encouraged to support the club with your attendance. Honor Society's Art Honor Society's next meeting is November 27th. English Honor Society's next meeting is November 20th. Future Educators Honor Society is October 29th. National Honor Society's November 14th. Social, stu Social Studies Honor Society's is November 13th. Spanish Honor Society's next meeting is November 19th. Chai M Honor Society's next meeting is November 12th. FCA meets every Wednesday morning at 7.45 in Miss Perriman's room. Everyone is welcome. And that's all for your club and guidance announcements. Wait. Hey there, Conway High. This is... My microphone's working. Hey there, Conway High. This is Jess Glasgow, and I'm here with your sports for the day. Anyone who is interested in joining the Conway Anglers Bass Fishing Team should bring their parent and or guardian to the meeting on Monday, November 12th in the Commons right here. 
Last night, the Conway volleyball team lost to North Augusta 3-0 to with scores of 25-16, 25-14, and 25-20 in the first round of the 4A state playoffs. The Tigers put forth quite the effort and battled every set. It just wasn't quite enough, guys. Conway was participating in their first state playoff match since the year 2007. Coach Jonga has been quoted in saying, The playoffs were the goal for the year. Every kid got out there and worked really hard to get us there. And to go from 1-7 in the region in 2010 to 6-2 with a spot in the state playoffs in two years is a big testament of the effort, focus, and fight in this group of kids. So congratulations to the Conway High School volleyball team. Y'all have made us all very, very proud. Now let's go take a look at our Tiger scoreboard and sports lineup for the day. Last night, Conway battled North Augusta in a playoff battle where they lost 3-0, to zero, but they put forth quite the effort, and they have made us very proud. Way to go, girls. There's not, uh, not much sports this week, but on um, Friday, the varsity football team will be playing Sumter right here in the backyard at 7.30. So let's get out there and support them in uh, another region battle. That's all for our sports today, Conway High School. Now let's go see Matthew with the weather. Hey Conway, I'm Matt with your weather. Today we have a high of 84 and a low of 56 with a 10% chance of rain. The humidity is at 74%. Tomorrow we have a high of 81 and a low of 60 with a 0% chance of rain. The humidity is projected to be again at 74%. Now Conway, let's take a look at our hurricane forecast. As you can see, we have Hurricane Sandy that's in the Gulf right now, but it's projected to be in the Atlantic by two or by Friday morning. But and if it is Projected correctly, it will be affecting us by Tuesday with either rain or it might be hitting us. So, anyways, Conway, that's all for your weather. Now back to Dalton in the studio. So that awesome weather report, Matt. I am not looking forward to being hit by Hurricane Sandy. Now to your feature of the day. Good afternoon, Conway High School. I'm Brianna. And I'm Chelsea. And this is your feature for today. I really enjoy going trick-or-treating. Well, I really love Halloween parties. So, Conway, which one would you rather go to? I would rather go to a Halloween party. I'd rather go probably trick-or-treating. It's funner and get lots of candy. I'd rather go to a Halloween party. To a Halloween party for Halloween. Halloween party. So, I'd rather go to a Halloween party. I'd rather go to a Halloween party. I'd rather go to a Halloween party because people don't want to give old people candy when they go trick or treat. I would rather go to a Halloween party. Trick or treat. Don't trick or treat. Trick or treat. Halloween party. I'd rather go trick or treating. Well, I still love going trick or treating. And I'll go to a Halloween party any day. So I'm Brianna. And I'm Chelsea. Now back to the studio. Thanks for that awesome feature, guys, and remember to deck out in pink tomorrow. And have a great day, Conway. We hope to see Conway High filled with pink.